Hi there, I'm Jane here at the AWS offices in downtown Seattle. Today, I'll show you how to configure your Amazon Aurora database cluster for failover to ensure the highest availability for your database. Amazon Aurora combines the speed and availability of high-end commercial databases with the simplicity and cost-effectiveness of open source databases. The AWS cloud infrastructure is built around geographical regions where each region contains multiple availability zones, also known as AZs. When you create your Amazon Aurora database cluster, you choose whether to run with a single instance or you can add up to 15 read replicas. As their name implies, read replicas are helpful not just for availability, but also to scale database read queries. Let's say we already created an Amazon Aurora cluster in a single instance configuration. Configuring it for multi-AZ failover is easy. First, we'll log into the AWS console and navigate to Amazon RDS. RDS stands for Relational Database Service and is the service used to run Amazon Aurora database clusters. The Amazon Aurora storage layer provides high availability by storing six copies of our data across three AZs. When selecting the instance, we can see its availability zone. After selecting the instance, we'll create an Aurora replica. Let's pick a similar instance class size as the primary instance, so we won't see any change in database performance in case of a failover. We'll need to give the new Aurora Replica instance an identifier, which is used to generate a network endpoint that we can access from our application. Let's pick a different availability zone for our replica for increased availability. We need to select the failover priority for the new replica. This is necessary if we have multiple replicas in our Aurora cluster. During a failover, Amazon RDS will promote the replica with the highest priority, starting with Tier 0. In the instance list, we see that the new replica is being created with the role of reader, and the multi-AZ property is now two zones, indicating that the cluster is distributed across two AZs. Now that we've configured our database cluster for multi-AZ failover, we can test the behavior of the new configuration. We can select the target instance in the console and choose failover. This will cause the replica to be promoted as the new primary or writer instance. The time it takes for the failover to complete depends on the amount of database activity at the time of failover, but it's typically under 60 seconds. We've seen how easy it is to configure an Amazon Aurora database cluster for high availability using multiple availability zones. If you have additional questions, go to the link at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.